good preservation. I, man, I'm like, I'm, I'm all like, uh, I'm all excited. I'm all game preservation. Is 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 that an all time high? Pet's all excited and he's all game preservation. That's what he says, baby. And uh, Cooley Skunk, <laughs> Cooley Skunk has been uh, so. Cooley Skunk was a game that was in. Indiv- I'm gonna try my best here. <clears throat> The cold meds are doing a good job of keeping my head soupy. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to get some of this wrong because this is a, a twisty tale. I like, uh, I like Ian's g- gamey time tales. Cooley Skunk was originally in development for the Super Nintendo. Then things happened with the market <clears throat> and uh, they decided to put it on the PlayStation. It did come here as Punky Skunk. Okay. Um, came here as Punky Skunk on the PlayStation, and it was released in Japan as Cooley Skunk. Uh, but there was, at one point in time, it was, this is where it gets confusing, it was canceled, but then also brought back up to be uh, released at some point in the U.S. on Super Nintendo because they thought the Super Nintendo was still doing well here. This was before the PlayStation was released. Um, <clears throat> but it was canceled. So, they thought it was lost. They found uh, the uh, ROM for Cooley Skunk on a uh, Satellaview cartridge. Well, this was the weird, sto- weird part of the story because I was on Twitter and it was like, real quick, we got to raise 500 bucks to get this game. And at the time, I was like, well, what did they find someone, some collector that had it? It was in a store. Yeah, it was in a store. It was on a Satellaview cartridge. In Japan. And it even said what was on it. Um, whether they knew they had something or didn't or didn't care... Who knows? But uh, the money was raised. They got it. They dumped it. Apparently, at one point in time... This was Force of Illusion, we have to say, that yes. brought it to, to our attention. Um, at one point in time, this was apparently uh, streamed over Satellaview as a demo. Um, you can play, I believe it's the first three levels, and it kicks you back to the title screen. But a little bit of hacking uh, shows that the full game is there, and you can actually play it through to the end credits. So the entire original... Super Nintendo Punky Skunk that was never actually released um, does exist in a full, complete um, form. Um, Gaming Alexandria has a great write-up on it that can give you all the details, all the twists and turns. Oh, was that Super Potato? It was Super Potato Store. Okay. In Akibara. <laughs> and like I said, it's it's uh, it's a little bit tough for me to follow entirely. I've read this story through twice. Um, but it's interesting to find out Uh, There's a neat little quote here that says, uh, just a a highlighted quote in the article, the design of the main character, Cooley, and his fart attack were both at the order of Visit. Visit being the company that, uh, the the developer that made the game. They told us this incorporated the opinions of North American buyers. So they did some market research saying we want to see a a skunk attack. We want to see a fart skunk. Well, we want a fart skunk game. When you look at it on YouTube, there's a video here. It is a cute little skunk wearing like a like a red suit, like like track suit. It looks like, and yes, when you swing the tail, a purple little cloud comes out on the attack. Yeah, would you want to play as 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 a skunk in a in a, in a platformer like this? Sure, I think he's kind of cute. Just like in the you know, just like with Rocky Ronin and all the you know, bu- uh, uh, Bubsy and all the Sonic knockoffs that came out around the time. It's like, oh, let's get a cute animal ma- mascot that attacks. That's what the American market says. Give us the rodents that smell. With their farts. I, I don't know if he... Well, he dresses better than Rocky Rowan. Rocky Rowan was trying too hard. I think it was style. Brought was. up an entire generation of furries with weird fetishes. You think so? You think there's someone that... Farty, has, farty skunks. You think you have that one punky skunk uh, person, who furry out there, who's like, oh my God, this is the best day ever. You know? Possibly. Okay. All right. I'm not judging. Just like, um, <laughs> I just think this is such... So many things had to fortunately happen for this to be discovered. Obviously, someone had to be shopping that day. And, and see it in the store. Second, they had to recognize that it was actually something important. Because if I'm walking past that, I might I might be able to recognize, oh, it's it's a, it's a BSX cartridge. I might say, okay, so it's a Satellaview cartridge. Then I got to realize, oh, it says, especially in another language, oh, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a Cooley Skunk or Punky Spunk on it. So you have to recognize that. Punky Spunk, huh? P- what? Punky Spunk? That's, that's another one. Uh... <laughs> So you have to recognize it that it's Cooley Skunk. You got to re- see the cartridge, recognize that it's a game, and then have the wherewithal to know this game didn't come out. I better buy this. So like, 
unless the, the person working there told them that, it's just, this is like a very fortunate finding because this could be the only one we know about. Like this could be, this is great. Let's, let's applause the people that found this. Who actually found this? They, they, we want a sandwich. It was secured by user Bill Cat Socks, and a fundraiser was put together that <laughs> successfully reached our goal to cover the cost of the cartridge within only one hour. I mean, I guess you could take the risk and buy it, but then what if it's not? Then you're kind of screwed if it's not on there. Because it, maybe it's not on there. Maybe it was. You know, what I mean, it was written over. You know what I mean? Let's uh, let's shout out these folks who donated: VZ Blade, Nijimari, <laughs> Robo Tortoise. Uh, <laughs> You have betrayed me, Little Toon Cat, Leaky Comet, Banzi Coot, Gauche Artist, Buffalo Weeks, B. Michael M. D. John, Moss Mouth, Kelsey Lewin, Hey Kelsey, Retro Romper, Frank Cifaldi, that guy, Carnival, Oki Dragon, and Cauterize. Yeah. Way to go. And we, special thanks for to Sanmai Washi for helping to preserve and dump the game. You can get the ROM at the GamingAlexandria.com uh, link, which I'll put there. Which I guess they're associated with Forest of Illusion there, and this is great. It's like happening the other week now, and this is like the fourth uh, Satella game that's been dumped in the past like two years. There was the Kirby one or two. There was that uh, other weird ass um, oil one, uh, that Konami one. The there was there's that's not Satella. That was Satella view. No. Okay, but there's been like three or four of these that, that have been been found. Yes, unfortunately, there can be neat things on these cartridges. Absolutely, this is fantastic. I wish we had this service here. I would have begged and begged my dad. But then I would no, I wouldn't play in Tie Fighter CD instead. I would have been playing this. I moved on. Pat was too mature for console gaming in 1995. 96. That was you know, yeah. Give me those. Give me those. Uh, the wave of the future, Ian. Full motion video and games. That'll that's gonna pick up and be here forever. Yeah. 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 Well, you remember how many times you see Tia Carrara's uh, game? Um, remember that Daedalus Encounter game? Uh, she's like yeah. sci-fi game with her. That was a wave of the future. Movie stars and video games. Mm. Yeah. Well, now they just voice them. All right. Moving on, Ian. Unless you have anything else to add here. No, I don't.